right here, man. Uh, my new podcast, by the way, is already launched. Uh, we're yes. just getting to it, barely getting started, but uh, we'll be in some more in-depth interviews and all that stuff. Make sure you check it. It's still on our YouTube Especially channel. Especially that one with Crazy Race, morning. bro. Oh, that shit was funny. That one with yeah. Crazy Race was just so, f- oh, my God. Uh, we were clowning, yeah, dog. Good yeah, it was shit, funny. Good shit. It was funny. Hey, so Without uh, further ado. Yeah, we got our next guest in here, and he's no stranger to the spot. It's been a cool minute, but go ahead, man. Let him know. It's been a while, bro. Let's get this. Yeah, let's get this one up. Uh, hold on. There we, we go. There we, there we go. in the building, y'all. His mic is now hot. Yeah. Is it? Okay, cool. Bro, it's been a minute, man. Yeah. This shop is legendary. Bro. I'm, I'm you, so glad to be back here after like five fucking years, I think. Yeah, and Ooh. you've like, I think, probably been a guest and also uh, I think you performed here, haven't you? Have uh, you performed here too? Uh, with, I'm not I'm not entirely sure if I performed here. I know I did like two here with everyone starts with the crew. Oh yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah. then they go away from each other. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think I did it with them. I don't think I did a show here, bro. I, I don't think so. But man, I'm man, this this shop man is fucking You've legit, been here. bro. I'm so happy to be here, brother. Yeah. And now here. like ninety K followers and a blue check later, you're oh, crazy. Let's talk about it. Um, it's, I, I mean, a lot of it has to do with the, uh, the, 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 the Uber rap thing, you yeah. know, which, you know, it's basically, you know, rap to passengers type of thing and fucking shit just blew up. And I'm like, all right, cool. Let's fucking write as long as we fucking can, you know? Um, but also the music's cool too. So. The music is <laughs> great. Oh yeah. I've been seeing you rock stages. Aside from that shit, yeah. You know. I've been seeing you rock stages like, and pretty big ones. Like I, I've got a chance to host some of them like been at since back in the day and you've been you've been rocking yeah. shit, so yeah it's not you're not a uh, stranger to that but um how'd that idea come about with the with the uber thing before we uh, get into the I music i seen i seen do it bro um you just <laughs> i just you know m- most of them were you know rapping uh you know very fast very hard stuff and uh, my music's not really like that yeah. you know it's more of like introspective personal deep kind of stuff so I was like, let, let me see what happens. And that shit just fucking exploded. Yeah. Like, changed my in a year. It's fucking crazy, bro. Crazy. Shout out to you for saying other people have done it before, but you, this is your take on it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, like, yeah, no, I, I don't think most things aren't original. You know, it's like kind of like nothing. You know, like, most things aren't, you know, but. You know. Usually when they get notoriety for something, they tend to get not everybody obviously because we have somebody here who's grounded and um obviously doesn't from an ego perspective but a lot of times someone they get put on to something or they end up getting noticed for doing something and they forget to pay homage to you know the person who influenced them or where it came from prior and it's just like oh me 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 so shout yeah. out to you good perspective for thank being... you for, for saying that i i i appreciate that yeah. shout out to high res for starting it yeah <laughs> <laughs> Hey, and then, uh, you know, um, giving your own take on the music and stuff. Yeah. Um, it, you probably, I mean, obviously it, it, it worked for a reason, but you probably caught somebody like on a certain day and they were feeling a certain oh, yeah, type bro. of way. And then yeah. they heard that and fuck, you probably like tripped them out. Like, bro, this, yeah. It this was, is it, what I needed. You know? it, it was crazy, bro. Yeah. There was one time where I did rap to a girl. Uh, I picked her up from work and now she's actually a friend of mine. Uh, I picked and I rapped to her. She started bawling in the fucking car. So did I. And I was just watching y'all. It, yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. And like, I ended up forgetting my last couple lines, but it still ended up doing it. And uh, I was like, what the fuck? Like, this is crazy. This is going to be amazing content to fucking yeah. use. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It spoke but, to her yeah. soul. You yeah. spoke to her. It, like... was, uh, it was really cool. She's such a sweet girl. Uh, I hung out with her a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that, was, that was crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I see that look. Oh, shit. <laughs> see, guys. Being in your feelings is not a bad thing, okay? In my yeah. opinion, it takes a strong man to be sensitive, and that's a go. turn on, all right? There you go. So I'm just letting y'all know. What the fuck? Okay, okay. I uh, see, I see. <laughs> we got a whole section for that over here. Cheers, cheers, cheers to that. Cheers yeah. that. Yes. Yeah, that's popular today, brother. See? Good I, shit. Grimlin's doing it, though. You know, his yeah. name doesn't give you that at first, Gremlin. You're not thinking that you're going to be in your feelings. You know what I'm saying? You don't think you're going to hear a song about being depression. Yeah. But I've been thinking speaks about on it. I've been thinking about thing too, because you're right. It does not give that impression. No one sounds kind of dark That's you, though. You that's know? you. Yeah. I like it. Gremlin raps, you know? I mean, But you've even had, 
like even before that though you've had like a a, a core base though that that stuck with you bro Since, yeah because what is it you said like five years i knew at least uh, at least five or six yeah probably. five or six years bro. so so yeah. but i've seen that you you still have that like a kind of a core base that rolls with yeah you. yeah they uh, definitely grow with me i don't think i've changed too much uh i think i just be, you know more self-aware you know yeah and, and not afraid to express myself um and you know people gravitate towards that i think the genuineness of it yeah you speak um to what people are feeling inside but they can't always convey it because they don't have the or the yeah. ability to you know maybe not the confidence or whatever and you literally you'll say it and you can see while they're listening that they're kind of like processing but identifying like key parts yeah. you know and you see it in their face yeah it's uh it's really cool to see that you know especially at shows too you know like i i did a show and like some people cried and I'm like this is this is some really nice stuff you yeah. know like I don't really make hard shit you know but I do make people think about things in a different way and that's so and and that's cool for me you know I twist it y'all though because he's got bars and he Absolutely. does spit some hard shit okay. and when I hear it I'm like because I'm not used to it yeah. right so yeah, like sure. I'm expecting something sure. different and then you come and you're like and I'm gonna fuck it with a man I'm like holy shit uh, he's the, like he's going in right the now good old day. Damn. Hey, <laughs> see Danny's gonna be your hype man she, like to go out there. she knows the words and everything I'm down with it yeah, yeah. Down. let's get it when shit opens yeah. up fuck this I know dude do this it. shit's ridiculous <laughs> already man. um but speak the- speak on that like with the with the the word play and the making people feel a certain type of way did yeah. that come from did you did you always write or were into reading or writing as a, you know even after, um, um you know why so scholarly yeah. why so scholarly <laughs> i mean what do you mean sto- by that well because <laughs> storytelling storytelling is a, is a power yeah. whether you mm-hmm. you're standing up doing spoken word uh, an yeah. actual story but to make people feel that way through a song is that's, yeah. that's pretty deep so uh i really started gravitating towards storytelling I think it was three years ago, I made a song talking about uh, my mom's addiction growing up. And when I made that song, the, like, I put my mom in the video because she's sober now. I ended up in the song and I'm like, fuck it, like, let's see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm speaking my heart out and I'm telling my story. And that shit ended up getting like 8 million views on Facebook, got me on Fox 11 News and Orange County Register. And I'm like, what the fuck from, from, from turning my pain into my power like this is fucking crazy you know what i mean and uh ever since then it's like okay like i had a guy reach out to me after seeing that video and he was like yo man i haven't talked to my mom in seven years but that song made me reach out to her and i'm like oh fuck that's beautiful let's go like i'm down for this let's fucking let's fucking change some lives here so that's been my mission ever since then is to like yo man let's fucking let's change some lives here like i'm not here to just make music i want to fucking I want to make I want to make people reach out to their moms after seven years. You know, that's, what I mean? that's powerful, man. Cause I think that's the dope part about that video and and that song is that you still show now the relationship in your mom. The fact that you guys you overcame that trial and now yeah. the triumph both speak proudly about. Absolutely. You know, and I think that's what we all need to practice more. You know, is being more um, not so much focusing on the negativity part of it. Yeah. That's a fact of our life. We got that part but then there's more and i think that that's what your music does gives the next step or that hopeful yeah next moment you Absolutely. know what i mean you don't dwell in it yeah definitely not definitely and, not. and you know what is and that's something that um whether younger or older that's something we could all really like we we grew up in similar circumstances and got my youngest brother's in jail for for some stuff he's he's there for a little while and then you Thank know you and the, the same thing is like my mom overcame and then but but my mom even through those times and i'm sure it's similar with you but even during those times she's still one of the, like the strongest people i've ever it's met crazy like, bro i see my mom like, go what? shit dog yeah. and, and she's like one of my like best friends i talk to her almost every day so Absolutely, like, it's bro. crazy dog so that's you, awesome dude in other words you can relate whether you're old young you know across the board that's something relatable for yeah everybody. man it's, it's a beautiful yeah. thing absolutely absolutely you know like like after that you know invited to like uh, uh to tell our story at like juvenile correction facilities that's domestic cool. violence shelters and like women crying when i rap this shit a ton of them I'm like what the f- <laughs> this is crazy so like it, it really does reach to all aspects and it's just like 
story, speaking your truth, you know, um, and being comfortable in your skin, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, and all that, and all that stuff. The anxiety and the depression. Yeah. Is that something that you felt you were dealing with as a younger adolescent young man? Is it something that you are still dealing with? Uh, like I, I, I think it was uh, more when I was a kid. I didn't know what to call it, but I think I had my first panic attack, panic attack like at seven okay. or some crazy shit like that. Um, but uh, nowadays, I've definitely learned how to deal with it a lot better. You know, like I'm not, I'm not really tripping on it too much, but. Uh, when it, like music used to give me anxiety, I'm like, why the fuck am I not at where I'm, where I want to be right now? You know, fucking overwhelming and like, fuck, man. But you know, keeping the uh, the, the, the 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 vision strong, you'll get to where you want to go. You know, and um, yeah. I think sharing the fact that you about it, so you got a song about anxiety. We're gonna play the video yeah. in just a little while, but the fact that um, you know, you come across as calm you know your spirit you know you're up yet you this is something that you know you have you cope with it now yeah. but you've had it since a young age share it and, and that exposure to something that most of us don't talk about yeah is probably and like huge for people who don't really know where to go yeah and who to who to connect with and because he, and not a lot of music that talks about that e even yeah. even to add to that though like the fact that when you have to do certain things like you take it a step further like, you don't have to go get these things but it can reach more people and why not do it if you already made a song that powerful why not spread it with more yeah, people bro. that it could help their life absolutely but dude. some people don't take that next step so that that's dope that thank you, you bro that. yeah karma is a motherfucker yeah right, right. <laughs> you know what i mean spread the good man spread and it'll it's come all back. love man we got love yeah. around here that's what it is man. i can tell bro. younger yeah. people connect with music though over anything else i mean therapy is great but a lot of kids don't want to go to therapy not oh, at yeah, first sure. you know yeah, or yeah. journaling they don't want to journal at first but they, they're down to hear some songs and because you got bars and the beat is hard they're, <laughs> they're already yeah. with it and then even it, noticing they're yes. getting therapy from you that's yeah. a good point so dig point. that uh shay can we get into that video because I'm, I'm feeling that yeah let the do it, man. Grim. Let us know. Let's get it. Introduce the video oh, oh, for us. Oh, uh, I don't feel anymore. Is there we go. There. More. It's on YouTube, y'all. We're. <laughs> yeah. Be sad. I'm staring at the moonlight Nothing open so I'm hoping that this view might I don't want to sink into it too Like a brew, that's just what I have to do to get my mood right I don't understand who I'm even becoming Don't know why my demon always get it coming Man, they make it so hard for me to let love in Don't know what I run from, but I keep on running With it I could slow down, but I've never known how If you give me your heart in the darkness, even when I sound like fucking hate this bottle, so I drink it on the ground. Like, like, why do I drink till I'm numb? Why do I smoke till it's done? I don't feel anything no more. I don't feel anything no more. No more. Say, why do I drink till I'm numb? Why do I smoke till it's done? Till I don't feel anything no more. I don't feel. Society. They may not like who I am, but I am me I don't ever talk, I'm sitting quietly But my head is loud, don't know how to settle down on anxiety I have always felt like I don't belong here It's been a long year, it's been a long life Sick of everybody saying it's gonna be alright Little do they know that I have tears dropping all night Everyone is who the fuck I need to stay away from I don't wanna feel shit, I just wanna stay my mind right but for now i'm drunk i ain't crying to the sky like like why do i drink till i'm numb why do i smoke till it's done till i don't feel anything no more i don't feel anything no more say why do i drink till i'm numb why do i smoke till it's done till i don't feel be like
this forever I hold on to a lot of shit, I need to let it go But it's harder than I like to show I make the small things seem bigger like looking through a micro Lost so many friendships and I lost a few girls Need to be relentless if I wanna build a new world I know that I can change, every day I am praying Cause I don't wanna be an 80 year old man saying Saying why do I drink till I'm We're back, y'all. Yeah, back in here, man. Dan, they killer, my rabbit, and we got our home gremlin in the house. Speak real shit. Just played the video yes, as well, man. So, uh, the videos, man, it's out there. People check them out. Um, it, How can they follow? Let's do connection really quick so he can people can link on. Yeah. So, uh, luckily, I was I caught on everything, everywhere. YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, Facebook, fucking everything is Gremlin Raps. I'm so glad I got that name before anyone else. So you're not changing it? I, uh, no. I mean, you can have a Danny alias, says like no. I mean, hey, they said I mean, no. I heard, uh, I heard the voices say no. What do you think yeah. about this? He could have an alias like MF Doom, but he still needs to stay Gremlin, right? He. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we all voted. We I decided. That, bro. Uh, I'm your brand that, manager man. for tonight. All right, fuck it. I'm with it. It's <laughs> we Gremlin. Show. Oh, Gremlin everywhere. We, Gremlin we everywhere. came to an agreement tonight <laughs> on the Fuck B it. side. Yeah, Oracle edition. It's official. Man. <laughs> it's a community here. We're a family, y'all. Yeah. We have you on the show. We feel like you're family now. We want to see you succeed. Yeah. We're connected to you. Tag us in the stuff that you post. We're going to repost it. Yeah, it's yeah. that easy. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I love you guys. Hey, our new studio audience. Yeah. You're hired. <laughs> We, we forgot to if you came today to come all the time. Uh, <laughs> wait, the, the homie always brings beer, so we're good. That's hey. why we like him. <laughs> Thankfully, right? Hey, yeah, right. It's hot in here. Hey, so so let them know, man. Uh, what what's been new that you're working on, and what been uh, cooking? Uh, so working like since shows are fucked, like right. My boy Vibes and I, like we were, like we had a, we had a whole fucking festival in Portugal. We were supposed to go to in July, and I'm like, motherfucker! My first time, paid out to go to this crazy ass place, and I can't fucking this bullshit. But since we can't do the, uh, uh in a couple, in, in a couple months, we'll be doing a collection of clothing slash meet and greet, maybe a show, depending on how things go. Like I don't fucking know, but yeah, it's kind of. You know, week to week right dude, now. It, it bro, is but. apparently county though. You know where I'm from is like not on the list of COVID anymore or something like that. We just got nice. that announced. So hey. you know why? Because it's so big. Everyone's spread apart, and nobody. They never wanted to touch each other before this. They're <laughs> like, stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> I'm just saying. True. True. I'm just saying, hey, you know? as long as it fucking goes away somewhere, I'll be good. <laughs> fucking like, for fuck real, this dude. Shit, Wash your hands. Wash yeah. your ass. Yeah. I mean, it's not that hard. <laughs> this should be common sense, people. All that shit is common sense. Like, yeah. fucking clean your head and wash clean your ass. Your ass. <laughs> like, she straight said, wash your ass. Oh, hey, shit. yeah. Do, yeah, do that. COVID or not, wash your ass. Yeah, wash your ass. What's going on? For real, uh, bro. Be, but. Please be courteous. And all that is is being courteous to everybody. No one wants to fucking around or fucking have you. <laughs> Have you sneezing in their face and shit? So it's uh, just kind of shit. Dog. It's crazy, bro. Like you can't walk in anywhere without a mask now, bro. No, oh, yeah. like, you people get, get out. fucking pissed at you. Yeah, shit. you with a uh, and it's they're crazy. like ready to throw down. Dude, people are working like all day shifts with masks. It's, I, it's, that's yeah. crazy. Hey, fuck me. That's hey. scary, man. That's I, hardcore. I, oh shit, like that. Our audience me, knows the pain. Of that. Me too, bro. I, I fucking fuck. Wait, hey, do, bro. I didn't, hey, real talk. I didn't. I was an essential worker, like my normal 
shit until like I was wearing a mask like fucking 20 feet in the air hooking up electrical circuit. I'm sweating, dog, and I'm like, fuck. Nobody's, God, nobody's up- looking at me. Yeah, nobody's up here in the air with me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I fucking pulled my Damn. back. But yeah, it's it's been crazy, dog. So speaking of the COVID and all of that, are you able to Uber? Have you still been Ubering? So Uber was like a like it's not like that's what I do for for a living. You know, it's right. more of like a side hustle. Side hustle. Science project. You know, <laughs> uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Uh, Holding an audience active. I can't think of the word right now, but it's uh, sure. Sure, along those lines, but so luckily I'm able to, you know, living off of YouTube and music. Um, but Uber is like more of like a fun thing that just, nice. yeah, it's and that, it that worked more out for, for as far as promo. Yeah, and it worked out for yeah. sure. Like I, like I don't need to do that again. But what's really cool about yeah. it is that you don't have to worry about people stalking you in Uber because it's random, right? Wait, is it, oh, oh, stalking? Yeah, oh, like let's stalking. say I wanted to like get a free concert from gremlin so i'm like in <laughs> like that's the driver places. is that creepy like, you it's know it's not like that is I that can't creepy get it. if you request a driver bro i have people be like like where the fuck do you at? like let me get a concert and i'm like you know what maybe i could charge for some shit like that right let's fucking go make it up one of the I'll luxury cars where exactly. you get more money there you go you know it's like yeah gremlin Uber, let's go yeah dude that that that'll, that'll, that'll work <laughs> That'll that'll work. It's then, a party bus. And yeah, then just go. hit different <laughs> cities. Party like bus. you could be a week, be in the SGV, another. It'll be cool, man. So yeah, there see, you go. Okay, we're coming from, up with all kinds of. Face. We're in business. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> we, we came with a whole game plan and shit. Hey, hey, uh, hey brother. What's what? next? Speaking of game yeah. plans. So, um, besides the uh, clothing collection, uh, I just started getting into merch like crazy, and like I I put out. Some shit a couple or like last month and ended up selling out like in two hours. So I'm like, oh fuck, I could do this shit too. Cool. So now I had a I'm I'm having a collection come out in a couple months with the meet and greet. But aside from that, you know, just music and probably more Ubers, just because they're fun. Dope. You know, like I like doing them. Well, since you have a new collection coming out, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that the Oracle edition of the B side was the first time we had a fashion show runway oh, yeah. through oh, the uh, B side. Yeah. Hey, next I, one, let's go. Hey, I'm like when when we first came up with the the concept of it, like we we had known each other before that, and all of us like you know known each other. She's been doing stuff with hip hop for a long time, and and then this came up, and then it it took a little while, but then. Uh, I'm like, okay, she's doing everything. Like, I don't have to do all the, like, so, like, it was easy. Like, like the day after my B-side credit. Yeah, like, I, I just got to come talk Wait, to so the like, mic. I just got to show up and look pretty and show? be rabbit. Hey, she does. A fashion it. show was uh, all dude, right now. Like, she has people doing paintings, uh, all bro, kinds of yeah. yeah, we usually she have live art. legendary, legendary Chaka. We had Chaka. Yeah, we had Chaka in the building. We had oh, King Crete in the building. Yeah. Was COVID. Good one. This I'm, was before COVID had him after covid too didn't we yes we, ha- we did he yeah, had to we wear a mask anyways he was painting yeah we all got a little extra we just fuzzy that day <laughs> but we did a runway we did a fashion runway it was a young designer and it was all his line and it was really hot gear remember nah, that it was it was really dope gear I yeah was, uh, so i'm bringing that up that to say that perhaps the next circle edition oh, of the b-side see? show oh, shit. we can have a grip oh, in the Let's runway see. Let's go. <laughs> Let's okay. go. It's official. It's that official. sounds dope. We can do a giveaway. Dope. That's okay. true. That's a good idea. I'm with you. Giveaway. Yes. Sounds cool. It's it. official. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. legit. Let's I'm put some heads in here. Yeah, let's do it. All right. No more questions. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, now what you did is then me, my brother, he clips like, we're going to, hey, what about me? You don't think I could be a model or what? Like, I can't. I'm too skinny. Or what? I can't walk. It'll be featuring yeah. Shay and see, Rabbit and yeah, Eclipse. See, 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 now we have conflict, man. It, oh, Ecli- man. Yeah, he, Eclipse is like, what? I can't hey, show I'm my dad the booth. That's Only all if I, I can say. do You're going to just see right here from the chest. Up. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll contour your dad bod. I'm going to put some, yeah. some little Straight, you know, definition right here. Right right like. You can't show a dad bod and a couple skinny <laughs> bitches. Wake up at nine in the, the morning short. with this virtual school shit, man. That's like, crazy. What's, we're like, what's wrong with a skinny guy with a beer belly? What's wrong? What's wrong with that, bro? All right. Hey, <laughs> hey man, let them know where they could get at you one more time, man. I know it's all uh, the same 
just let him know. No, no worries, no worries. So uh, everywhere is Gremlin Raps. E M L I N R A P S. Gremlin Raps everywhere. There it is. If everywhere. you guys are interested in advertising the B side show, please do me a favor and get at my girl Erica. Her IG is Erica Can Do Anything. And it's the truth. Better. So better, definitely better. get at her for promo. Um, if you want to have a video on one of our shows, we handpick all the videos. But if you submit one through Erica, hey, maybe you'll get special consideration. Yeah, maybe Just you get saying. a... Is that Erica with a C or a K? It's Erica with a C, baby. Hey, you just made her throw up the C. She's like, Erica with, the with a C, C baby. Yeah, like, yeah. We had sure. DJ Sal in here, so we got to represent, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We had another dope show today, man. And uh, everybody, shout out to the whole team. It does hold it down. But yeah, for promo, get out Erica, man. We got DJ Cliff, Shay Whitey. Shout out to Drac. Uh, uh, hooligan man he couldn't be here today yes, uh, but we you. got Orale Photos another one of the team oh, members Saint right here Mafru, man. Yeah, we love man. you yeah. and okay. next time you come Gremlin hopefully you perform on the other side when we come back from a video we're gonna have you on that side and we'll, oh, yeah, we'll get sure. a song live yeah, we're missing the part COVID I have no shit yeah, so I, don't, I don't think most teeth. artists have anything. we'll do Zoom meetings and I'll practice with you okay <laughs> I'll be your I'm hype back. man okay <laughs> Yeah, she's Let's the hype it. man. She knows the words Let's anyway, it. so it's, it's all good. <laughs> hey, it. again, shout out to everybody that tunes in and all that stuff right now. Edition, and we do this every fourth Monday. And every fourth Monday. And if you can't get enough of me, catch yeah. me on 101.5 FM in Los Angeles. Streaming on LPFM.LA Wednesday nights. I got house, EDM, drum and bass, Afro Latino. <laughs> Thursday nights, baby. I know, I love it. They're, they're down to party. This is the party. This is the party one. They're gonna be on Wednesday nights. Let's they're do a wave. They're gonna be on the Wednesday nights. Let's do the wave <laughs> real quick. <Yeah. laughs> Thursdays, oh, yeah. trash on the streets, and that one. There's no father to our style. So whatever you hear in the hood is what you're gonna hear on my radio station. So that's Thursdays. Fridays is Oratory Glory, and I got Gremlin coming back for Oratory Glory. So absolutely. Spirit of the Artist tells a story on that one. We dig deep with an artist and we go way into what influences their music, where it came from, who they sampled from, all that. So if you can't get it, I'll just be hey. honest with you. As you see, we mean business around here, Mao. Everybody's shit. Fun and games, man. We really do this shit. It's real business, man. We we love this shit, yeah, um, and, and we're gonna keep it moving. We ain't done yet, man. Uh, any shout outs you wanna make, brother? Before we uh, the vibes for fucking coming all the way from fucking oh, we OC. got a match over here. Yeah, he's the man. Yeah, he's the man. We got yeah. wrestling. Everything. So hey, we'll see you guys next week, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. A couple from DJ Eclipse, man. Hold us down. Let's mix, go. Baby Eclipse. B-side Oracle Edition. What? Ooh.